My name is Jason Mack. I'm a sculptor currently living in Bloomington, Illinois. I've been working on a series of sculptures I call the windings. The windings are made by wrapping thin threads of hot glass around a welded steel structure. Depending on the size and complexity of the piece, it takes a two to five man team anywhere from one week to upwards of one year to complete. Although as you'll see with this process, they don't ever need to be completed. They can be wrapped indefinitely. The initial idea for the windings came about while I was driving down historic Route 66, the stretch between Bloomington and Chicago. It is a trip I make often when visiting my family. Along the road, you can still see all the old telegraph lines from the 1920s and 30s, which are topped with aqua green glass insulator caps. There are tens, if not hundreds of thousands, of glass caps along that 100-mile stretch of road. I always wanted to use the glass for something, I just did not know what. It is an interesting sight because standing right next to the old lines are the new lines that have been put up in the last 20 years. It is a great visual of new technology creating a huge supply of surplus material that for all practical purposes will usually go to waste. I also found it interesting that the technology beginning to outmode the newer lines is fiber optic lines, which of course is made of the same material that the caps are made of. Being familiar with the industrial process of making fiber optics and also the traditional Venetian method for making cane in the hot shop led me to the idea of crossing the two in order to make the windings. Developing the initial forms for this process was the crux. And as with many things, it was a difficult problem until a simple solution was realized. I knew it had to be a form that indicated time and growth, something that spoke of progress and the consequences of progress. Above all, it had to instill in the viewer the feeling of a long-standing process occurring over time, like the feeling one might have when looking into the Grand Canyon. Again, I found the answer to my question while driving through the countryside. It came to me in the form of a large landmass that loomed on the horizon. It was not a natural feature, but it took on the appearance of one. It was a retired landfill, a heap of trash that had been capped with clay and soil, and was completely covered with grass. It was the form I had been looking for. It was strangely beautiful on many levels, especially in the flatlands of the Midwest, where it stood alone and out of place a testament to all the innumerable things that our society had collectively created, used, and discarded. That has become the principal form I am interested in making. Since then, I have also expanded to include towers and arches, ancient forms that I believe convey the feeling of a long-standing collective effort. When we began recycling bottles to create the windings, we started throwing winding parties. Everyone who comes to the party brings bottles that we crush up and shovel into the furnace. Due to the unique process, we allow everything to become a part of the piece. The labels, the backwash, dirt, steel caps, cigarette butts, everything. Due to the intense fire of the furnace, the majority of the impurities get vaporized, giving the final form a crystalline-like appearance. But upon close inspection, imperfections and charred bottle caps will be found. I'm not after the pure, but the real. This contributive act has become a crucial part of creating the windings. It is synonymous to the way in which landfills are made. Piece by piece, everyone adding their bit until a large mass is realized. In this process, there are also many parallels to the way in which societies grow over time. Each thread of glass that is added is very fragile, but when you have hundreds of thousands of them composing a single piece, the sum of the parts is much stronger than the individual threads. In the near future, I would like to create and explore this work in public spaces where people are invited to contribute their glass bottles and watch us wrap the piece continuously, day and night, for a number of days or even weeks. Whenever possible, we would like to return to the site on an annual or biannual basis to add new layers of glass. In this way, the piece may grow indefinitely over the span of many years.